is, guys. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. I want to see if you guys can hear that drag. Can you hear that drag? All right, so over here, this water is only 10 inches deep, okay? But you guys have seen me fish this spot once before. I just want to give you an idea of how deep the water is. Right now, it's probably, I mean, about two, two feet of water, uh, 18 inches, somewhere thereabouts. And I'm going to be using, okay, this, the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is to show you this time of the year, we're in March, and I'm going to show you the water's still cold. We're still spring. By the way, this is March 2021. We're still in crappy madness. Hey, River, cut it out. Sit, sit, sit. These rascals on the boat, and they just think that I'm gone like a, like a baby, like, like, like kids and no babysitter in the house. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you exactly when you go fishing, how shallow the fish really are, okay? So let me see if I can get you guys just where I want you. I want to make sure you guys can see me real good, okay? Let's see if we can locate a few. And I'll be turning, understand I'm going to be adjusting the camera as I, as I move forward, okay? When we hook on to something. Now I know you guys have asked me, Cam, when are you going to do a, a, a video from the bank? Um, it seems to be I'm fishing everywhere but the bank. I'm fishing in the water, I'm fishing off the water, in the boat, but I'm not doing one um, on the bank. So let's see if we can locate a couple of them real quick. He is, guys. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. I want to see if you guys can hear that drag. Can you hear that drag? Okay, I always keep keep it loose. And look, I'm standing in two feet of water. This is what you do. I'm going to talk about my outfit in a minute. This is what happens when spring comes around. Every year, crappy are habitual. They do the same thing over and over and over again. This is a black male, too. He has his tuxedo on. Let me show him to you. Let me show him to you. Hmm. That's that black male. You see him? Look at his look at his cheeks. Look at his underbelly. He's black. He has his tuxedo, aka war paint on. That's what you're looking for. Guys, if you want a good eating fish, this is this is what you're looking for. And let me say this while I'm here with you guys. Crappie are the number two most sought after freshwater fish in the country, including Canada. Okay? That's what you're looking for. Good eating fish, take the whole entire family out. And let me tell you this, the meat is sweet, mild, and it's delicious, okay? Beautiful fish. We're gonna let them go because we're not on a meat run today. So we're gonna let this rascal go. Let me see if I can pull you down a little bit. I wanna make sure you guys can see every bit of me, okay? Pull with today. I'm running the, matter of fact, let me loosen up a little bit so you guys can see me. I'm running the 116 gold. Listen, if you want red hook, if you want black nickel, you want bronze, we got it all, okay? I've, I, I'm just a little bit partial towards gold. That's that nasty bend hook, and I'm running that, that black and chartreuse, guys, which you know is notorious for catching crappie. But what we did here at Cam's Crappie Hole, excuse me, we added that hologram flake in there. Let me see if I can show you that hologram flake. See if it'll focus in on it. Okay, that's the edge. If I'm on a boat with my buddy and he's catching five crappie with this hologram flake, I'm gonna do double that because I got the edge. Okay, that's the key to it. And let me tell you this: after six, seven, eight, eight fish, you have to replace it because they gnaw it up. Okay, I think I got a, maybe a couple more bites on this one to go. And while I'm while I'm I'm, I'm mentioning this to you guys, my outfit that I'm using. This is the last segment. I had mentioned it to you on my last video, if you see me not using the Raven, AKA the Blackbird, that means it's not on sale anymore. You wanna catch this rod and reel while it's on sale, okay? It's a, let me see if I can show it to you. It's a seven ball bearing, okay, which means it's silky smooth, and I designed this, this reel to be extra, extra light, okay? I paired it with my magic stick, it's all blacked out, and it has a surefire bail on it, okay? A six pound drag system. And listen to this, you don't have to worry about if you reel with your left or right hand. It's interchangeable. And I'm running the EVA split grip. And I wanna tell you guys, I said it in my last video, the difference between 
if you like a cork grip or EVA grip, okay? The cork grip, bar, bar none, there is no better conductor than the cork grip. But the thing about a cork grip, after, in due time, it gets dirty, it soaks up the moisture on your hand, it's high maintenance. Cracks, chips, but this EVA split grip doesn't do that. Soft to the touch, it um, is water, waterproof, and on top of that, the reason why you have the split grip is you, I designed this, this rod for accuracy. That's what the split grip does for you. It gives you complete total control of your throw, okay? That's what an EVA split grip is for. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can show it to you. There's that cam, okay? Let me show it to you real close so you guys can see it. So listen, we're going to get back up there. We're going to see if we can locate another one, all right? So sit back, relax, guys. Enjoy yourself. Sit on the sofa. And I'm going to show you my plastics. And soon, in the next two to three years, CAMS is going to be the one of the largest producers and has the largest selections of crappy plastics in the country. All right? Let's see if we can get on, on another one, all right? Let me pull you guys a touch closer to me. There you go. I want to make sure you guys can see me. Now the water is super clear, okay? Let me make sure I got you guys up. I want to make sure. Now again, I'm standing in about, I'm standing in about two, about 18 inches of water. But on each side, it drops off. Yay! There he is. They're sitting right over there, guys. They're sitting right over there. That's where they're sitting. Guys, they're in, about, they're in about 15 inches of water. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that rod. That's what a pure type, a carbon fiber rod does for you. It doesn't allow that backbone to kick in that fast. They call these paper mouths for a reason. If you have a, 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 um, a medium, medium heavy rod that you use to catch bass with, it's another, it's another male. Guys, that backbone kicks in real fast. You have to remember that my rods are sensitive and they allow you to make mistakes, okay? And it's gentle, it's not heavy. It doesn't allow you when you pull. Let me get this rascal in the boat. If you have a rod and reel that's too heavy, you're gonna yank, you, matter of fact, watch the tip of my reel, if you can see it when I'm fishing in the water, watch the tip of my reel, I don't set the hook. I don't do that because these nasty bin hooks do that for themselves, okay? All I do is just barely lift that pole up a little bit. Look at that. This is a female. Look at her stomach. Now, you remember the last one was all black, right? Someone asked me just recently, Cam, how do you tell the difference between a male and a female? Look at her stomach. She's about ready to get ready to drop these eggs, okay? We're going to let her go. We're not going to keep her. I want you guys to see me. And by the way, I want we have so many products. Listen. I want to say this to you guys. We have about 12, 13 rod and reels that we haven't even been able to put on the market uh, yet. We're dropping, <laughs> we're dropping rod and reels on the market like you guys are throwing crappy back in the water. Okay? So right now, my outfit is the Raven, a.k.a. the Blackbird. Okay? You can get it right now. Listen, I want to, I want to say this to you guys. You can get this. Right now, just go to camscrappyhole.com, and you can get the Nasty Bin hooks. Let's see if I can locate them here. And you can get, let's see, here are the Nasty Bin hooks. We hand pack everything, okay? That, that is the Monkey Milk and Chartreuse. If you just want the single pack, or if you can't decide that you don't want that, by the way, I'm running the, the Black and Chartreuse. I also have it in a kit along with the Rod and Reel, okay? have it with the kit along with the blackbird aka the raven okay so if you can't decide which color you like the orange crush red black and chartreuse blue black and chartreuse or if you want the the black and chartreuse all of these are hologram flake you can get all this as a kit all it takes is two clicks put it in the cart and check out that's all it takes so listen i'm going to show it to you again in action let me make sure i got you guys just right okay i'm going to see if i can do this let me pull you up just a little bit. We're going to see if we can hit that same spot again. You guys with me?
sometimes crappie are just that that sensitive that you have to hit that exact same spot. If you don't hit that spot, they won't touch it. Make sure I got you guys here. Look at that, yank, yank. Whoa, boy, I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know what this is. This doesn't feel like a crappie. Unless if it's a big one, it's a crappie. Guys, look how look at look at look at look at look at my rod. Look at that carbon fiber rod. Look how it works. This is a, this is another male. Ooh, man, it's a nice male. Perfect eating size male. Let me make sure I got you guys here so you can see me. Perfect eating size male. Okay, I'm gonna show you again the difference between the female and the male. This bad boy here got his tuxedo on. He's ready to go to, to the ball. Look at that. Let me pull you down just a little bit so you guys can see me. Look at that. Look at the belly. See that? That's a male. Look how dark he is. Look at the cheeks. That's a male. So what he's doing, guys, he's telling all the other predators, stay away. Okay? I'm guarding something. Or you will be eaten or you will be hurt. Okay? This time of the year, I generally don't keep. I'm going to let this rascal go. Guys, even a short strike, matter of fact, watch me let him go. There you go. Even on a short strike, this nasty bend hook doesn't play, okay? And I want to show you guys this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it over here. I'm sorry. Here we go. This is the hook that we all grew up on. Let me see if I can bend you down just a little bit. This is the hook we all grew up on, okay? And you see that hook? Okay? And I also want to show you the head while I'm here. All right? This is my hook. If I can locate it. Oh, here we go. This is my hook. Show you the difference. You see that bend in there? That's why I call it the nasty bend hook. And I want to kind of give you guys on a little secret. I run a non-painted hook. I mean a non-painted head. And by the way, I'm running 1 16th. When I'm in this shallow water, I don't run a 1 8th, okay? The reason why I run a non-painted, I get non-painted hooks because they go with every color jig that I use, okay? So, you know, if I'm, they go with everything. Every color that you have in your tackle box plastic, this non-painted hook will go with it. That's that nasty bend hook. You can see it was red. I done had a lot of fish to knock the fire off of that red, okay? So, let's get back in there and let's try it again. We're gonna see if we can have some more luck. Look, look how deep I am. I'm in about two feet of water. I'm in about two feet of water. You guys can see, right? I'm just lightly casting that bad boy out there. And if you notice, my rod is at 12 o'clock because I know I'm in shallow water. I don't want to drop it down towards the water. That means it's going to dive deeper. I don't want it to dive deeper. I wanted to stay shallow. Yank! There he is again. Yank! There he is, guys. Look at that. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. Look at that. Wow, these rascals are strong. Guys, during the spring, this is what you want to take the family out to do. Okay, look at that carbon fiber rod. Guys, this is the raven. We call it the raven, a.k.a. the blackbird. Let me make sure you, I'm still in the frame, guys. Look at that. Man, it's a nice crop. Man, it's a nice crop. And let me say this to you guys. When you're fishing for crop, the female is the largest of the species. Let me pull you down again. The female is the largest of the species. That's a nice crappie. That's a nice crappie. And I mentioned to you guys on one of my other videos, the reason why I film the way I do with you guys over my shoulder, I try to step back so you can see the crappie with scale. So I can show you exactly how big the crappie is. That's why I have you guys over my shoulder versus on my chest or on my head. Because you can't really tell for scale without that. Guys, that's that nasty bend hook right in the roof of the mouth. And let me let me let me mention this to you too. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, that hook ain't going nowhere. 
whenever you're crappie fishing, uh, there we go. You want a, a, a super sharp hook that can not only penetrate the jaw, you want it to penetrate bone, okay? Once it penetrates that bone, it's not going anywhere. Because if you just got a, 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 a speck, AKA um, calico bass, AKA crappie, AKA crappie, um, white perch, spotted bass, whatever you want to call them, they, in some regions they call them paper mouths. If you just barely hook their, their mouth, they're gonna throw that hook, okay? But with that nasty bin hook, it sets. I want you guys to see me release her too. Listen, I think that I've done what I came here to do, okay? Listen, I never leave my boat without my hand towels. And I want to tell you guys this, we got so many products that we're trying to release and we can't seem to do it all at one time. I've had these for about four months now and I still can't even put these out, okay? Um, I appreciate you guys so much and I want to tell you guys this. Um, if you get a chance, go to Cam's Crappy Hole Community on Facebook and showcase how your state roll, how your region rolls, how you roll. It's free, okay? You just come right in. If you want to showcase, show the kids, show everybody in the world how you get down, okay? So it's free. You, you just answer a couple of questions. How did you hear about us? What type of fish you catch? And you just come on in, okay? It's free of charge, and you want to do that for the kids, okay? And also, I want to mention to, this to you guys as well. So many of you, I'd probably say about 25% of, of our viewers now are taking advantage of Afterpay. I fought real, ha real hard to put Afterpay, you'll see it in one of these corners. What Afterpay is, because of the times that we're in right now with the pandemic, and a lot of people are losing jobs and money isn't, isn't flowing like it used to, okay? Hey, hey, cut it out, cut it out, sit, sit. Afterpay allows you to make payments on your purchase interest-free. So let's say if you purchase this rod, I'm gonna use an example of $400, okay? When you go in to the website, you click check and you check out, your first payment is due is of $25. And we ship it directly to you, okay? And you pay the remaining three payments bi-weekly. Afterpay will text you and let you know, hey, your payment is due of another $25. And listen, after you get finished with the four payments, okay, they're interest-free. You just pay $100. That's it. I'm just using that as a round figure, okay? So, guys, with that being said, you know me. My name is Cam. This is the Shallow Crappy Hole. And until next time, guys, keep those hooks wet, keep those lines tight, and we'll see you on the next turn. this much of water. Alright, let's get ready to go.